There we go, folks. We Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the European Racing League Division 2. The this is the penultimate race of the season. And we are here in Brazil for round 20. Uh, just to give you a quick update on the championship standings, uh, Dangerous Dodo, who won the championship in USA, comfortably in the lead in the championship. No real surprise there. Kevar is now into second place ahead of Milan. By just two points. So the race for second place will be very interesting. Indeed, Keho can not catch Milan. Because there's 50 points left on the table. Keho has to settle for at least fourth. So here we go. It's a fantastic circuit, this. 2.6 miles, 15 corners. You have two... DRS zones. One down the main straight and one past turn three. Constructors wise, uh, both uh, the Constructors Championship has been decided. So that means it's now race to see who will finish second and who will finish third. McLaren are currently ahead with 530 points. Mercedes with Dodo as their champion has 514 points. There are 47 points on offer in this race and another 47 in the next race. Sauber won the Constructors Championship. They secured it in Mexico last time out. They are on 682, so big congratulations to them. So we've got 15 drivers here this weekend. And Jan, one of the drivers with a qualifying ban alongside Betflo and Keho. There we go, Keho. Retiring from the session. Just waiting for Betflow. We've got one of the Mercedes. And it's our champion, Dangerous Doho. Uh, Dangerous Dojo. Uh, Dodo, even. Simon in the Williams, Bet's teammate, on the soft tyre compound. Only one on the soft tyres at the moment. The three tyre compounds, we've got the super softs, the softs and the mediums. Uh, pit stop times, we're looking at somewhere between 22 and 24 seconds. It will just be the one part of qualifying. 18 minutes to decide the order for the grid. Again, as I said, they will have their Sauber securing the Constructors Championship last time out in Mexico. Congratulations to them. So the race for second place will be between McLaren and Mercedes. Dangerous Dodo has won all but two races this season. Very, very consistent all season. A lot of credit to him for that.
And Mike Samas out as well for Renault. He's been doing pretty well in the Talk of the Devil Racing League. The second place finish in Silverstone with his teammate Gary Braddon. Finishing as the winner of Red Bull 1-2. We don't actually have any Red Bulls with us this weekend. And there we go. Milan, fastest one at the moment. One minute seven. 601. Kevas, 107656. Dodo, 107422. Fantastic lap from him. Dopex, one minute eight. Simon now out on the track. There's the oh, Dodo running wide there. The Jira. Okay, one minute eight two seven five. Three skull. Not sure how you pronounce it, but we go A U R. Just make it easier. Or India. Vigo out on their lap. Uh, on their out lap. A U R coming across the line now. They go with a one minute nine four three eight. Simon now out on his lap. He's, again, he's the only one out on the medium uh, soft compound, sorry. Across the line now, woman 9056 goes ahead of AUR. Dodo going out on another lap. And here comes Jay about to start their lap. This track has had a lot of history and a lot of moments. Since 2004, it has been at the end of the season. The championship has been decided on numerous occasions here. Last time, in fact, was 2012.
when it was Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso. Abdullah and SR1. All the drivers yet to set a lap. Betflow still in the pits. They aren't retiring from the session. And trying to get as high up the grid as possible. It's uh, Kevar, fastest at the moment, with a 1. Minute 7313 Milan, second 107369, and Dodo just goes fastest 107225. We could potentially see times drop into the one minute sixes at this rate. Let's have a look at Jay. Now oh, Jay's goes straight into the pits. What's SR1 going to do? They are in fact going out to start on a lap. halfway through the session now. Very interesting to see how things play out in the second half of this session. An SR1 in the pits now, interestingly. So we've got Gojira here for Renault. Got on the eighth at the moment, and they jump in the pits now. AUR making an interesting move going on to the soft tires. Very interesting move there. Yeah. And across the line, they improve with a one minute nine, one nine eight, but not fast enough to make any improvements on their no improvement on their position here comes Abdullah they haven't set a time yet but here they come the first lap of the day Yeah. 
And a bit of a lock up there. SR1 and Abdullah, the only drivers yet to set a lap time. About five minutes to go. Ooh, Abdullah goes wide. And Abdullah, oh! So Abdullah decides to finish the session. Looks like they're happy with what they've done. A 1 minute 8, 1 4 6, but that could. Oh dear. That's not quite going to plan for them. Simon makes an improvement of 1 minute 5, at uh, 1 minute 8, 5, 7, 8. It's pretty impressive that he got a 1 minute 5. But... So the order at the moment is Dodo in first, Kevar second, Milan third, Jay fourth, Dopex fifth, Mike sixth, Vigo seventh, Abdullah eighth, Gojira ninth, Simon tenth, AUR eleventh, Dan twelfth, Bet thirteenth, Kieran in fourteenth, Kieran, that's uh, Keho and SR1 15th. Like he's making any improvements. Oh, looks like he's coming into the pits. No, he's not. He's going to try and finish the lap. It's nothing spectacular. But he is Mike, one of the dark horses of the Talk of the Devil Racing League so far. In sector two. Not that it concerns Mike because he's coming out of the final corner and shock and surprise in the pits. Milan 17, 107. 183 Here he comes across the line now what's he gonna do is he gonna improve he does improve a woman at 7604 but he stays fourth. Not much time left in the session. Kevar starting their lap. There's not going to be enough time to get. And oh, well, oh, what's happened to. Oh, there's contact! That's Dopex with AUR. They're out of, they're not going to make any improvements. 
Bristol. It's all down to Keva, who realistically is the only person that can try and improve on their lap time. Gajira can improve, Simon can improve. Only three people out on track at the moment. Keva giving it absolutely everything. Kevar's done. Kevar's not going to improve. Which means Milan is on pole position for the Grand Prix. Only Simon can improve, but even they, they're out of fuel. Oh my goodness me. Drivers dropping like flies at the end of that session. Absolutely incredible. So, the order of the grid for the race. Here we go, it's Milan, Dodo, Keva, Jay, Dopex, Kajira, Mike, Vigo, Abdullah, Simon, AUR, Jan, Bet, Keho, and SR1. SR1 wasn't able to get a time set. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to race day for round 20 of the ERL, the European Racing League, one of the official esports leagues for Formula One. I'm your commentator for this evening, Kenzie Retro. Time to give you some facts and history about the, the country and the track. Brazil has the world's best beach, according to TripAdvisor. Baia de Sancho is the world's best beach again according to TripAdvisor the fifth largest country in the world based on population and Odem e Progresso is the motto of the country order and progress is what it means the fact about the circuits Michael Schumacher is the most successful at the circuits history with four wins under his belt five Brazilians have won their home race including Emerson Fittipaldi Felipe Massa, and of course, the great Ayrton Senna. 1994 was the last time the race was won by over a lap. It's a fantastic circuit. There's 2.6 miles, 15 corners, two DRS zones, one down the main street, and one past turn three. Some of the action zones to look out for today. You've got the center S's of turns one and two. Schumacher and Montoya back in 2001. A fantastic battle between them. The Curva du Sol, of course, 2003. Who can forget about that one? Drivers dropping left and right at the same corner back in 2003. 
and of course, Dunkow in 2008. Is that clock going slowly? Yes, it is, good sir. The moment that Lewis Hamilton won his first world title. The Ferrari fans celebrated just a little bit too early on that day. Three tyre compounds this weekend. We've got the super softs, the softs, and the mediums. Last but by no means least, it's on to the grid, and it is as follows. We've got Milan on pole position for Sauber. Dodo, our season champion for Mercedes, alongside him, Keva on the second row with Jay in the Ferrari alongside him. Then you've got Dopex and Gojira on row three. Mike, who's part of the Talk of the Devil Racing League as well, he is in seventh. You've got Vigo in eighth, Abdullah ninth behind his teammates in the Toro Rosso. Simon, the only, uh, Simon Williams making it into the top 10. Very impressive performance from him. AUR with the Force India team in 11th and alongside him you've got Jan Betflo in 13th, you've got Keho alongside him and behind them is SR1. You see there you've got Keho, SR1 and AUR on the soft tyres because those, that's the tyres that they set their fastest laps on. So here we go. The three minute break is over, I've done my introduction. So here we go. Formation lap. Again, just a quick re so just a quick recap of the key battles to look for in the championship. It'll be a very Exciting battle between Milan and Keva for second place in the championship. And Gajira already disqualified from the formation lap. They will no doubt be allowed to start the race. That's really bizarre. Not the first time we've seen that happen. So AUR, Keho, uh, AUR, Kieran and SR1 are the only drivers on the soft tyre compound is the medium of three compounds for this race. So that's the championship wise, it'll be between Kevar and Milan for second place in the championship. Their consistent point scoring this season has managed to secure Sauber, the Constructors' Championship. McLaren and Mercedes, who used to be partners, now they are rivals. McLaren ahead in the standings at the moment, Mercedes. Uh, in third with 514, McLaren with 530. 36 laps here, 50% race distance. Who knows what's gonna happen. Drivers starting to line up. Gajira already on the grid due to the disqualification from the formation that they are allowed to start the race. Here we go for the penultimate time this season. Five lights. And we are away in Brazil. A great start there from Milan in the Salva, but Dodo on the inside. Doesn't quite make any progress. Keva maintaining third. Jay maintaining fourth. Kajira making up a place. Abdullah making a bit of progress as well. What a battle this is for the lead. Oh my goodness me. Dodo then. Oh my word. Milan forces Dodo wide. Dodo will not be happy about that one. And I don't. I wouldn't blame him. This is a fantastic battle for number one yet. Oh! What on earth was that about, Dodo? That was a bit unnecessary. Dodo with a 10 second time penalty for corner cutting, and I think quite rightly so. So, Dodo leads, Kevar second, Lan third, Jay fourth, Kajira fifth, Dopex sixth, Mike seventh, Vigo eighth, Jan ninth, and Abdullah rounding up the top 10. Heading up to Yongkow now. 
Milan, almost alongside him at all. Kenavar into second place, but Milan trying to get past the strike and keep. Yellow flags in sector three, and it's Abdullah. Abdullah's gone. What on earth went wrong for Abdullah? He obviously he must have spun. But oh my goodness me, it has all fallen apart for him. Oh my word, what a scrap for second place. Jay's getting involved, Milan's getting involved. The two Salvas side by side. And Milan gets into second place. Now he can start hunting Dodo down. But Jay tries to get him on the, tries to get Kevo on the outside. But it isn't going to happen. Goodness me, what a dramatic start to this race. An absolute bottom scorer of an opening lap. Abdullah starting to make some progress through the field. They managed to get past SR1. This is a great battle here between the Salva drivers for second place, not just in the race, but crucially in the championship as well. Dodo gets the fastest lap of the race so far, but it's still early days. We're on to lap three now, which means the DRS is now enabled. Again, DRS zones are down the main straight and down this straight here, past turn three, heading up to turn four. Kevar has DRS on Milan, but he's not close enough to make the overtake on this occasion. We've got SR1 and AUR already making stops. They're about to change their nose. They're going to sustain some front wheel damage. SR1 going on to mediums, they'll get, they'll no doubt get them through right to the end of the race. Is AUR staying out on super softs? If so, that's a pretty interesting move. It's a very interesting move. What a battle. What a battle for second place. Meanwhile, we've got Dopex trying to get past Pajira, but that's not happening. But Dopex is going to have another opportunity down this, down the straight, heading up to turn four. But Gajira has DRS on the Ferrari ahead of him. On this occasion, and Soldier Jan behind Vigil. This is battle for eighth place. What an incredible start to the race so far. And we haven't even hit half distance yet. Keho gets ahead of Simon now. And he's on the soft side as well, which is a brilliant move. And Dopex does manage to get past. Land with a time penalty. Oh, this is a great scrap. And Mike, Kajira's teammate, getting involved as well. Mike has DRS as well. Dopex gets ahead of Kajira and gets back into fifth place. Jan getting past Vigio as well into eighth. battles, not just up front, but in the midfield as well, to be the best of the rest in the championship. Approaching lap six now. 
it turns out Iwa did indeed go onto a fresh set of super soft. They'll need to use a second tyre compound. Otherwise, they will be disqualified from the race results. Keho battling his teammate for eighth place. Abdullah with a time penalty. battle for second place right now who knows what's gonna happen to lap seven now. Keva has DRS. Goes for the overtake. Might get past Gajira. Keva still can't get past Milan. second place here again this is not just for second place in the race but second place in the championship as well but it won't be much of a difference because it's 22 points for second place 20 points for the third it would need to be at least a couple of positions between them to have any significant difference in championship but who knows And Abdullah is out. Abdullah is out of the race. Abdullah looks like he hit the wall. Abdullah won't be getting any points today. on this battle between Kajira and Mike the sixth place fought the way through the race already and what an amazing battle we have on our hands here Kajira not close enough for DRS on this well not close enough to overtake on this occasion You can't deny they're giving it absolutely everything. Well, Vigo and Simon chasing Jan for ninth place. Very stuff here. I mean, the gloves are off. Both championships have been decided, but that doesn't mean the teams are getting complacent. They are giving this absolutely everything. And look at that. Dodo and Milan both in the pits. Milan with a five-second stop goal penalty for speeding in the pit lane. This is going to be very interesting. 
Is Milan going to get ahead of Dodo? No, he's not. They've been forced to let Dodo through. So Dodo keeps position. But Dodo will no doubt have to make another stop because he hasn't used a second tyre compound. Milan is safe though. He should be able to get those tyres through to the end of the race. He's capable of managing the tyres efficiently enough. Into lap 10. Kevin now in the lead. Jane second, Dopex third, Mike fourth, Gajira fifth, Keho sixth, Jan seventh, Vig Joe, Vigo eighth, Simon ninth, Dodo ten. Milan eleven. Betflow twelve. You are 13 and SR1 at the back. And oh, that's, that's a little risky from Gajira. They're in the pits regardless. They are in the pits. As is Vigo. Dan with a three second penalty. Keho, who started 14th, is now up into 5th. Huge amount of progress. Jan, who was 12th at the start, now up to 6th. The biggest drop at Milan, but granted, they just made their stop. It looks like uh, Jan. Jan in the pits now. Here we go. We go on to a set of soft tyres. That'll see them through to the end of the race. Gajira with a five sec uh, with a time penalty. Vigo with a, with a time penalty as well. Ooh, but here comes Dodo, starting to make some progress through the field. They've got past Milan. Well, they never actually lost their position. Dopex in the pits now. Big risk from Dodo. But they get through. They're now up into fifth place past Simon. Dopex in the pits going on for mediums. They'll be going to the end of the race, no doubt. <laughs> Betflow once again in the pit. Betflow actually in the pits for the first time today. leaves Simon, Kieran, Mike, Jay and Kevar all yet to make a stop. Dodo now up into second place. 
Kevo in the pits onto mediums. Jay on mediums. Mike on mediums. They're all going to Simon on mediums. A lot of these guys are going to the end of the race. Dodo will still need to make another stop because they haven't used two tyre compounds. We're on lap 14. We're almost halfway through the race. Kieran's the only man yet to make a stop so far. And judging by the gaps, they are going to plummet down the order. They'll be lucky if they stay inside the top 10. Stranger things have happened. You never know what's going to happen. Dilpex with another time penalty. And Dodo closing in on Kieran. You've got to think, is... You've got to think, is this the point where... Kieran has to consider making... His next, his first stop shortly because Dodo is within DRS range. But are they going to come in? No, they're not. They're going to stay out, swallow their pride and accept that they're not going to keep the lead for much longer. Dodo down the main straight and gets past with ease. We've got three car train here. We've got Dopex. Trying to get past Jace Ferrari. And while that's happening, you've got Kajira getting involved as well. This is the fifth place. Not close enough to get past on this occasion. Lap 17, Kieran still on his soft tyres. Kieran's still out. This will be his 17th lap on those tyres. Dopex still can't get past Jay Simon with a time penalty. Look at this, Milan closing in on Kieran. There we go, Milan passed with ease. Kieran has to start thinking to himself, yes, I need to come in, swallow my pride, and come in and make the stop. And as I say that, Kieran gets another time penalty. He's been on these tyres for about 18 laps now. Go 
Aldo still pulling away from Milan, but you've got to think that you've got to think, is Milan going to come in for another stop as well? One thing you've got to keep in mind. It looks like Dodo's, so Dodo's going to need to make a two-stop, and Milan could survive this and get to the end on the tyres he's on. Kieran now in the pits, they're going on to the mediums, they'll be going to the end of the race, absolutely. It was either the mediums or the super softs, I doubt he was going to get the super softs to last 18 laps, unless he's very careful with his tyre management. And Bet flows out of the race as well, retired on lap 15. stand at the moment. Mercedes aren't going to overtake. Well, actually, there is the opportunity they could still do it. Calculations, uh, even if it doesn't look like, and there we go. Dodo does come into the pits again. They're going to be going on to the softs. Gajira's out of the Gajira's out of the race now. Got a young cow, that is out of young cow, and. And does indeed go onto a set of sauce, but it looks like it's a used. It looks like it's a. Oh no, that's that's Milan. My, beg your pardon. Dodo, out in sixth place. A great battle. See who is going. To get. Second place in the championship because as it stands, McLaren will increase their lead over Mercedes in, in the race for second place. And if Dodo is the only Mercedes driver with another time penalty and SR1's out of the race now my goodness me we've got four non-finishes so far Lucky 
could potentially win this race today. Jay's running a bit low on fuel. He'll be getting that message from his race engineer that he'll need to start saving fuel. And Milan is now in the pits. That's a very interesting move on lap 13. And they, what are they going to come out on? We've got Dodo. Are they going for another set of socks? Vigo is in the pits as well. And indeed, it is another set of softs. We've got Kieran right behind Milan. And oh! Oh my word! Kieran causes Milan to spin, and that has just ruined Milan's chances of winning the race. Milan will not be happy about that one. How did Kieran escape a penalty? How did he escape a warning to be more to the point? But surely that deserved a penalty. Kieran will be... Well, Milan will be livid with that because it looks like that may have essentially just gifted Dodo another race win this season. Bit of a lock up there from Dopex. We've got Jay right behind him. He's not going to go for the take on this occasion. Again, Jay low on fuel. Well, here we go. Jay has DRS. They're not going to be close enough on this occasion. And Jay goes wide. Dodo gets past Mike as we say that. Milan now starting to make some progress back up the field. Mike has DRS on Dodo, but it's not going to be close enough on this occasion. Dodo right on the tail of the Ferrari. About a quarter of a second between them now. And Dodo comfortably on the outside. Gets past. And now he starts hunting Kevar. And Dopex down. Jay has DRS. So we're in action there, but not close enough on this occasion to get past. Simon with a time penalty. Lap 26, look at 10 laps to go after this.
Mike hunting Jay down. Within a second of Dopex. Dan with another time penalty. Dildo not close enough to get past. Oh, huge lock up there from Dopex. That will help Dodo quite significantly. Mike's about a half a second behind Jay. Milan now up into sixth. Dopex as we're on lap 28. Dodo going to go for the overtake. Bit of a lock up there. But Dodo flew without much trouble. Now they've got seven seconds to make up. To get past, past Kevar and get another race win under their belt this season. Mike not quite close enough to get past Jay on this occasion. second behind Jay as we head into lap 31 five to go after this and Mike does indeed get past Back to Jay. Mike with DRS tries to get past Jay again, but it wasn't. It's not for happening. And Jay's within a second of Dopex with a little bit of a lockup. 
Jane, uh, Jan with another time penalty. DRS here. So at 32. Five laps to go, four after this. Got DRS, but crucially, so does Mike. And Mike, Ooh, they almost touch. Mike's gonna have the inside line. This is too close to call, but Jay somehow keeps the place. Absolutely incredible. up. Mike has DRS, but is he going to be close enough to make the overtake? Dodo is less than five seconds behind Kevar, but try as he might. Not Having any luck trying to get past any time soon. Fantastic scrap. Third and fifth, they are just over a second separated from each other. And lap 35 is the penultimate lap. Dodo still not close enough to get to Kava. Final lap now. 
wait and see what happens as far as penalties are concerned because Dodo could still take the race win once time penalties are taken into account. Mike, surely and he still can't get past. How's this happening? He still can't get past, try as he might. stuff here on the final lap two and a half seconds between Keva and Dodo Dodo is with it again with another time penalty now it's going to make much of a difference in the standings, but my goodness me, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here. Kevar crosses the line, and so does Dodo. Kevar wins the Grand Prix! You've got to bear in mind, Dodo had time penalties, had a time penalty for the start, and that plummets him down to fourth. That means if he's the only Mercedes driver in Abu Dhabi next week, that means he will not secure second place of Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship. Jay in the Ferrari, on the other hand, takes second place. Mike, with another podium finish, he's in third. Dodo sending Kevar. Congratulations on that race result. So there we are, Kevar taking the win there. Jay in second, Mike third. Dodo down to fourth thanks to his penalties. Dopex, Milan, Kieran, Vigo, Simon, Jan, AUR, SR1 didn't finish. Neither did Gajira, Bet, or Abdullah. We had 11 drivers finishing the race. AUR the only driver to be lapped. So there we go, that's it from uh, me tonight. Next week it will be the season finale in Abu Dhabi. Can Keva secure second place in the Drivers' Championship? We'll wait and see. Until then, Good night from me, and I'll see you guys again next week.